Hello, hello. All right, so you have this simple thing, right? You don't have a material, so let's let's just put a material at the end of the change. I always use emission because that's like a flat shading thing. So you can connect that, and then you can connect that. You obviously, if, if you click Control Shift on this one, you're going to get a viewer, so that way you can skip the physicality of the shader, and you can directly preview whatever material you do. So Shift, um, Control Shift, click, you get the viewer. So you have this this uh, ramp, ramp thing, um, whatever. If I understood well, what you want to do is to to make bars along the way. So you need to do two things or either if you want to roll them up or you know do them here so I'm going to get to this mapping node which is like our basic soft image if I had you know what let me just open a soft image because it, this this one is totally remarkable you need to see this um, so uh, this mapping is connected to the geometry itself which in this case is the texture coordinate for from the UVs that means it will inherit or it will use the UV coordinates that, is ha that it has in case that you have an object that does not have uh, regular UVs you can go with the generated um, tab which will uh, have you use the the local coordinate system like the way Blender it's reading all of its faces that's basically it like I can explain a lot about this node but let's just stick to the to the actual question. So the mapping. Let me see if something much did open. It's opening right now. So what you want to do is to repeat, right? So for that you need to first know the mapping. Why the mapping? Because it's got different different um, modes where you can project this. So you want to project this this um, gradient texture as it is, and if you notice. I should be using a ramp shader. Why? Because that way you can control the actual length of your of your of your um, of your your ramp. Okay. So the way you can do that, if you can see, this one has a yellow output port, and this will output a yellow port. And you can certainly come here and then connect this one here. You're going to get the same result, except that now you can control your 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 stuff. Now, color ramp is used for many different things. Specifically, I use it to um, to do a threshold. Okay, so much like um, when you're uh, fixing brightness and contrast based on the color data that you have from the node behind, you can you know tweak it to make it really sharp, or you can even add additional uh, stuff right here. So I'm going to use the the very easy node the very easy method I'm sorry so you can get an idea of course now you have your your stuff like this okay but let's say I'm going to um, be assuming that you want to do this horizontally so where do you go you go here to the mapping and then you have location rotation and scale and since this is this is uh, Z up um, Y forward X um, sideways in local coordinates that is not the case Y is correctly up, X is correctly sideways, and Z is correctly forward. Yes, I know. doesn't get explained any, uh, anywhere in Blender. Let me just do this pretty quick. Yes, Shift A now allows me to make <laughs> that, that little menu that you saw there. I still need to work on that on that um, stuff, but basically I'm turning soft image into Blender kind of thing. <laughs> so that's cool. So texture. And from that texture, um, if you remember, if you double click here, uh, not not here, where is it? Where is it? I uh, think it's called texture, texture space generator. No, not that one. When you have a material and then you go into that material, you get the properties of the. Oh, come on, and you know what? Let's just let's just do this from here. Illumination, enable basic color. Uh, it's an image. It's an image. Okay, here we go. This advanced tab in Softimage, and this is what you use regularly, so you'll know. Um, the alternate UV, you know this. But then we have the repeats, the UV remap, and this UV remap is exactly this port right here. And if you can notice, this is like a green color stuff. So that's why they are named um, this way. They are colored this way. So when you remap, you know, you do, you do like, um, I don't know, 12, 2 stuff. All right, so that this one is the same thing. 
and for the same reason. So what we want to do is to start uh, repeating this this pattern. Okay, so let's let's do that. But how do we do that if we already have the basis? This is the basic uh, setup. Now we have one, but now we need to repeat this. So what you want to consider is the modulo, which is I think math. In math we have modulo stuff. Where is it? Here we go. Modulo, right? So you connect that there, and then you output that there. And as you can see, you're you're going to get this um, stuff because I'm repeating this one. Let me just get this out of the way. And um, probably needs to be normalized or clamped. Probably it's clamped. No. And as you can see, there you can repeat your your stuff. But the way we have to do this correctly, let me just let me just get this out. Um, is to have this and then have this pattern repeat all along. So here in the scale, you know, obviously you can scale the texture itself. And here in the location, you can repeat the location. So as you can see, what we want to do is right here on the x-axis. So we are going to use modulo on the x-axis. Why modulo? Because we can, just like you saw before, we can separate. Modulo is like uh, repeating stuff, okay? in a pattern. So what do I need to do? I need to extract this. So this is separate um, where is it? XYZ. We need to separate because we, we, we only need to work with X. We don't want to touch Y or we don't want to touch Z. So obviously we're going to cop connect this, th this thing here. We're going to separate all of that only to modulo X. You get me, right? Yes, you should because you have been uh, using eyes for a lot of co of complex stuff. Uh, so this should be a walk in the park for you. Oh wait, um, we decompose that x into a modulo value, which we're going to drive here. But then we want to uh, maintain x and z. I'm sorry, y and z. So separate x, y, z. Now combine y, z again. This is um, normal normal stuff. And this modulo uh, will alter the X only, but Y will remain, the Z will remain, and now we can connect this back to here. And determining this, you can now create your stuff. All right, this is just basic, so you know where to go, you know how to decompose, and now you know how to do the ramping stuff that you want. And of course, since this is being driven by the mapping, you can rotate that. And how are, are we going to rotate it? Well, you can, I'm sorry, you can try here, you can try, this one is the one that we were looking for. So you can try this one, right? I don't know why you want to do this. There are other, other methods, but I get it. You know, everyone has its own uh, needs. Right, so I hope that this uh, works for you.